Hey developers, today I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about GitHub and the new acquisition it had from Microsoft. What does that mean for you guys? And uh, what should you think about that? And if you don't know, my name is Eric Hanchett. I do software development videos. I teach people, I'm also an author. If you guys like these type of videos, please click that like button and that subscribe button. That really helps me out. And I just wanna let you guys know real quickly before we start that Udemy is having a $10 sale. Uh, I think it's 10 or $11 sale. I have some of my favorite courses linked below. Just go ahead and click on any of those courses. You can get them on discount. And also if you buy them through those links, I actually get a couple bucks, so that really helps me out. So let's take a look. Here. Here is github.com. If you have been living in a cave for the last 10 years, you may not have heard of github.com, but it's basically a website where you can upload your projects. It's a repository using Git, the version control system. It also has uh, private repositories and you also get public repositories. So many open source projects use GitHub to organize their code to have the code uploaded to there. It has some really nifty features like issue tracking, um, version, obviously like with Git, it has different types of version, it has version control with that, and you can do different, uh, you can take different branches and do a lot of neat things with it, and it's really extremely popular. So recently, Microsoft decided to pay and buy GitHub for uh, reported seven and a half billion dollars. So Git Microsoft has always been known as the quintessential closed source walled garden company out there. I mean, back in the 90s, it was Microsoft versus Linux. It was kind of like this big rivalry that they had. You had Bill Gates on one side that thought software she should be built in a closed source fashion that you get a bunch of developers together, you pay them a good amount of money, they work on the project, they maintain it, it's all private, it's all proprietary, and that's the direction Microsoft had gone in for a, a many, many years. And the other side was this kind of uh, upstart rebellion of people that thought that software should be open source, that when you take any bug and you have enough eyes on it, it becomes shallow. There was a whole movement behind that, which I'm not gonna get into in this video, but it kind of started even probably even before 1992 with Linus Torvalds and Linux. And you could probably look at uh, look up RMS and, and what he was talking about, the Cathedral and the Bazaar and the GNU software projects. So there's this movement of software should be free and that it should be open source and that everybody can contribute to it and it makes better products out there. And many of the programs that run the internet are open source if you look um, you can find the source code for many of the, the, the products, Nginx, Apache, um, many things in this world uh, that, that help run our computers um, and the internet and our routers, um, even our web browsers are open source. So this movement is really important. And it's funny that Microsoft, especially in the early you know, like 90s, early 2000s, had that kind of closed source mindset. And now they're buying GitHub, which is, definitely has been embraced by the open source community and has many, many projects on it. Now, the Microsoft from 15, 20 years ago isn't the same Microsoft it is today. Of course, you know, like 10 years ago, things started shifting. The Microsoft started open sourcing one of their products. I think their whole .NET stack now is open source. You can run it on Linux, you can run it on Mac. Um, Visual Studio Code was an extremely, it's an extremely popular uh, browser, or excuse me, integrated development environment tool IDE that a lot, a lot of people are using because it's so well done. TypeScript is another amazing kind of, I believe it's open source tool, uh, tooling. Uh, it's a, it's a superset of JavaScript that many projects are using nowadays. So you can see the, the shift in the last 10 years from Microsoft being maybe 15, 20 years from being this closed source Bill Gates, um, system to now many of their products are open source. They have embraced this 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 model. So I don't think it's that big. And I think the backlash we've seen with Microsoft buying GitHub has really subsided. Uh, one of the main reasons people say they bought it, I mean, seven and a half billion dollars is a lot and I, they're getting not as much. Uh, they're probably, we don't know how much GitHub is making, but they're not nearly making as much as that seven and a half billion dollars but it's they just want more and more market share of the developers out there to use the, the Microsoft tools out there, use the .NET, you know, still develop uh, 
products for the Windows platform. And I think that's an extremely smart idea. I think that's, I mean, just having GitHub is gonna be an extremely valuable asset. And I think seven and a half billion dollars was a steal. So here's three takeaways that I found this Inc article. So simple, 27 million fresh users for Microsoft's mega cloud. Simple, helpful business tools to build value, especially in the hyper growth niche like developer tools. So this is kind of some of the benefits that other people have thought of, of why Microsoft bought GitHub. The exit boost implied in business valuation, all developer tools, business models for strong enough user growth. Um, GitHub got to scale, so it wasn't easy to set the value. Microsoft cloud dominance grows. So really by adding this to the entry, it helps build their dominance. And really there is an alternative. So um, if you, so for everybody watching this, if you're a new developer and you've heard of, well, I should use, get a GitHub profile because that's what everyone uses. I would say still use a GitHub profile. It's free, you know, throw up some of your own projects on there. When you create your portfolio, still put it up on GitHub. I think that's an excellent idea. Include it in your CVs, your resumes of your GitHub pro profiles. I don't think that's going to change at all. And I don't think Microsoft buying it at this point is going to cause you any differences or changes. However, for those veteran developers that are really kind of nervous or scared, there is a great alternative, GitLab. Um, one thing about GitLab has always been that they've had private repositories that have been free while GitHub technically yeah, charges for them. I don't know if that's changed recently, but it's usually that's what it was. And there's tons of good products on the GitLab. So GitLab is a great alternative. You can see here, the core is $0 per month um, and you get all these integrations. So GitLab is a great, uh, great alternative to GitHub. Um, of course, if you're really geeky and you, didn't, you don't like GitHub and you don't want GitLab, you could, if you have your own server somewhere, or if you want to try to install it on your own box, you're running Linux um, or even a Mac OS, you can, you're in Windows too, you can install Git and set up your own private repository using Git, Git is open source. So you can set somewhere online, or not even online, just locally on your box and then back up that repository somewhere. Um, you can just set up your own version control system just locally and save it somewhere. You don't have to use something like GitHub. Of course, GitHub has some nice features like being online and having issues and, and, and a lot of other things, but um, you can certainly do that too. So I hope that gives you guys food for thought on this acquisition. This is just a couple of my ideas floating around in my head. If you guys like this type of videos, please click that like button, click that subscribe and check out some of those awesome Udemy courses in the links below. Uh, I really appreciate it if you guys click on them, buy them, share them with your friends. Uh, they're awesome courses. Uh, I, they're much cheaper if you go through my links and I also help support the channel. So thanks, take care.